you can see there's, there's a number of different challenges. I think the logistics are very hard. I think the Remodel B trial in the UK is, has been exceptional in taking over a thousand patients, generating between the first and the second cycle of our chop, collecting a, a lymph node and generating a cell of origin, a quantitative measurement of cell of origin, ABC or GCB for further randomization, is a huge tour de force to actually do that across probably 90 different sites in the UK. But I think we need to set our stall out and say that that's the way of the future, where, where we're going to be, have to be able to collect material at diagnosis, make molecular decisions, and actually then change or alter or amend treatment based on what the laboratory test is actually telling us. I think I, I, we have to get more, probably more innovation in relationship to the clinical trials and how to actually take drugs that appear to, to make sense. So for example, 1418 translocation in follicular lymphoma leads to upregulation of BCL2. Venetoclax doesn't work so well in follicular lymphoma. And we need to be able to move on from hypotheses and test multiple different hypotheses simultaneously to try hopefully and identify across the gamut of cancers which, which one is going to work, which drug combinations are going to work, and how we can try and improving outcome, and indeed I think reducing toxicity and, and treating elderly individuals.